got a new window air conditioner today. It's a 5200 BTU Kenmore high efficiency model. It's equipped with an electronic control pad and remote control. Uh, it has a thermostat built right in and when you run it in economy mode that thermostat will actually kill the fan and the compressor at the same time. So say you set it at 76 degrees it'll turn both the fan and the compressor off. That's a pretty unique feature because most of these have the electronic thermostat will just kill the compressor so the fan will run continuously and coolly actually warm the evaporator up. Uh, but this is really nice. It cools down very well and I'm extremely pleased with it so far. It's very quiet. It's good looking too. Um, well, I'm going to give you a close-up now on the front control panel, the labels, and I'm also going to pull the front off so you can take a look at what the evaporator and uh, filter look like. Give you some outside shots on the uh, new Sears Kenmore 5200 BTU window air conditioner from 2012. Has the very nice Kenmore label on the top side baffles. I got to check the tilt with a uh, level, so I'm not sure about that. Of course, that's the 1974 5000 BTU Sears Cold Spot air conditioner. Here to give you a close up on the remote control first. This is the front control panel. And again, the numbers aren't flashing, it's just the LEDs cycling, and the camera's picking it up strange. From left to right, you have the timer, the cooling mode, or fan only control, thermostat in the center. You can also switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius, if you're in a uh, metric country. metric country that is Sears would be Canada. Uh, next one is fan speed. It's an automatic high, medium, low, three speed. It's got this light that comes on when it suggests you like clean the filter. And that is the sleep button down there. I haven't figured out what sleep does yet. I have to read the manual on that. And it is energy star rated. Uses less than 500 watts which is really surprising. I have a 5000 BTU window air conditioner from 1974 that uses like 890 or something like that. It's insane. doesn't get like half as cold as this one either. Now we're going to take the front cover off. That pulls right off. Fairly simple. Next you have one of these like honeycomb washable reusable filters. Pretty standard. It's nice to have though most of them are missing on used air conditioners. And here's the evaporator. So you can see there's no marring yet or anything like that. And it's this nice blue color. You may also notice a small tube diameter. That probably has something to do with the density of R410A refrigerant. 
I, I'm not sure if it's more or less dense than R22. That'd be a question for a technician. Very small tube diameter. Here's your temperature sensor. And this filter check light is a uh, computer controlled thing, like on a refrigerator if you have one of the ones that has the Brita water filter in it, that will turn the red light on after six months or something like that. And then there's a button you push up here and it will reset the calendar. So in another six months the light will come on. But instead of months it's set to hours I think. Fairly decent. It's got your typical squirrel cage and uh, fan on the outside. Has a Quing Quang compressor. <laughs> Uh, I'm not familiar with that brand, but it's uh, definitely Asian. Quing Quang. Sort of sounds racist. I'm gonna put the cover back on now. Okay, now we have the front cover on. We're gonna give you a closer look at all the labels that are on here. First, the manufacturer label with the power consumption and refrigerant information. Is a GFCI plug on it too. Actually, I'm not sure if it's GFCI. It might be Arc Fault, but it's one of the two: Arc Fault or GFCI. Do a quick startup for you. Put the camera over here so you can hear the compressor running. <laughs> 